In this module, we will find out how to perform keyword research with SEMrush. Keyword research, a process of finding relevant and worthwhile keywords, is an integral part of your SEO. And if you want to eventually outperform your competition, you need this process to be prolific and effortless. This is where the Keyword Overview Report and the Keyword Magic Tool come to the rescue for you. With Keyword Overview, you'll be able to quickly look over any keyword from SEMrush's database. The Keyword Magic Tool allows you to broaden your existing pool of keywords and find semantically related keywords, as well as long tail ones with high traffic potential, literally in no time. So let's start with exploring the report. Access it by clicking Keyword Overview on the left-hand menu. Then, type your keyword in the search bar. It will be your basis for the pool of high-volume, low-competition keywords you're going to collect. You can then choose the desired database, device, and date when the data was fetched. On the Overview screen, you'll find the basic information about the queried keyword. Volume, which is an estimated number of searches done monthly for this keyword. Number of results, which is the total number of URLs that are ranking for the keyword organically. On the right-hand side of the screen, there's a trend which shows interest drawn to the keyword over the last 12 months. It helps you understand if seasonality is applicable to it or not. Below, you can see the excerpts of a phrase match keywords list and a related keywords list. Phrase match keywords are longer search terms that include the queried word within the phrase. Related keywords are misspellings or topically related phrases with search results similar to the queried item. By clicking on the Related Keywords tab, we magically turn up in the Keyword Magic Tool with its immense 8 billion keyword database always at your service. Once you get there, the Keyword Magic Tool will automatically save the research with your queried keyword. What we see on the tool's main screen are a seed keyword search bar with the query term, a block with basic and advanced filters, a table with related keywords sorted by volume, and to the left of the table, a set of keyword groups. Check out this report. It will help you enrich the semantic core of your campaign with semantically related keywords and common misspellings. These keywords shouldn't be overlooked because nowadays search engines urge website owners to broaden their semantic cores. At first sight, short, high volume keywords are perfect for driving traffic but you cannot form your keywords list using only short terms, since it's nearly impossible to top the Google's rankings for all of these words. That's why the most efficient strategy for our research will be to find long tail keywords with the highest volume possible and a possibility to reach the Google's top 10. To help estimate how much effort it would take to rank for a certain organic keyword, we introduced the keyword difficulty metric. Refine your search by applying the volume and keyword difficulty filters. Realistic keywords have an average difficulty from 60 to 80%. But if you found relevant keywords with relatively high volume and difficulty below 60%, these are totally worth to be added to your shortlist. After collecting keywords, don't forget to add your valuable findings to the Export Manager. Then, go to the Phrase Match tab. To find worthy keywords, apply the same approach here. Find relevant keywords with the highest volume possible and lowest keyword difficulty. Also, explore keyword groups and subgroups to discover very specific long tails. Groups are organized by common additional keywords, so you can navigate groups and subgroups to get more and more narrow niche terms. You will see total volume and average difficulty automatically calculated each time you apply different combinations of filters or choosing different keyword groups, which is very handy when you're putting together a pool of keywords you're interested in. Any group or subgroup can be excluded from the results as well. Pay attention to two other two-match filters, broad match and exact match. Broad match is, obviously, the broadest filter that includes variations of all forms of a seed keyword in any word order. Exact match is the most strict filter. It shows keywords that contain seed keywords in the exact form and order. You can also find question-based keywords that contain your seed keyword by clicking the questions button. It's always useful to know what your target audience is asking. It's believed that if your content is optimized for question-based keywords, your chances of winning a SERP feature, like Featured Snippet, become much higher. By providing your audience with answers to their most common questions, you can boost your traffic. And plus, users tend to word their queries as questions when conducting searches via voice 
and voice search is likely to go mainstream in the coming year. To specify your research topic further, you can use flexible filters to include or exclude a keyword from your search, apply broad match to the include exclude keyword filters in order to include or exclude all the forms of the inserted words, you can apply exact match in order to include or exclude the exact match of the inserted words, and mix all of the filters as you wish. Apart from volume and keyword difficulty, you can also filter by metrics such as word count to find fat heads or long tails, SERP features to find keywords that could lead to a winning SERP feature, and the number of URLs displayed in organic search results. Select the keywords you wish to collect by checking the boxes, then send them to the keyword manager for deeper analysis. For this analysis, you can either create a new or use an existing keyword list. Any list can contain up to a thousand words. The Keyword Manager is a kind of keyword repository where you can view real-time keyword metrics and refine your keyword list based on that info. In the Keyword Manager table, you'll see a list of chosen keywords, which you can sort and filter by several parameters, such as volume, keyword difficulty, number of search features, or click potential. The click potential metric is an estimation of the probability of getting a click through to your website in cases where it occupies the top position on the SERP. In general, it depends on the presence of various SERP features triggered by the keyword. In the top competitors column, click show to access a list of the top 10 competitors for each keyword. From the keyword manager, you can send keywords to either position tracking or if you deal with paid campaigns, the PPC keyword tool. You can also export the resulting keywords list fully or partially to an Excel or CVS file. To sum up, in this lesson, we found out how to do a keyword research with Keyword Overview and the Keyword Magic tool. Keyword Overview allows you to quickly examine any keyword present in the SEMrush database. The Keyword Magic tool will enable you to enrich your keywords list by finding semantically related keywords and long tail, with high potential traffic, of course. Now, try doing your own keyword research with the help of SEMrush, of course. But also see the Read Further section, refer to our knowledge base, and take a look at our blog to learn more.